Today, we're going to be continuing our Vision 1 how-to series with our APIs and more specifically, our API cookbooks. So I'm starting here in our Trend Micro Vision 1 Automation Center, where you can get all the information you need to use our APIs so that you can automate some of your investigation and response workflows. So starting from this page, I want to point out our API reference first. So if I go into our API page here, you can see the various APIs we have currently supported uh, natively for our platform. You can see we have APIs for things regarding accounts, uh, for example, alerts and workbenches, uh, notifications, and even response actions, right? So for example, I could, as a response action, isolate an endpoint or terminate a process, collect a file uh, via API. If I click on one of these APIs, I get all the information about the API, the responses. I'm given sample payloads and sample code uh, via Python. Um, and yeah, so we get a lot of information here about our APIs. We have the different APIs um, all on the left-hand side here. What I wanted to focus on today was the API cookbooks that leverage these APIs in order to create workflows for our customers to use as part of their processes. For example, here we have a couple of cookbooks. Maybe I'll show this one. So we have a cookbook here that's built for performing threat hunting based on indicators of compromise from a source. This is a very common use case for our customers that will retrieve objects um, and, and look for IOCs from taxi servers and then use that information. So for example, here we have a workflow where we retrieve sticks objects from a taxi server. We then extract those IOCs from those sticks objects. And then we answer the question, do the sticks objects contain IOCs? If yes, we search those IOCs in our endpoint activity data within vision one, and then we would merge those search results. Right. So for each of these cookbooks or workflows, we provide related APIs within Vision 1. Right? And clicking on this would take you to the API reference for that particular API. We, get, we uh, provide the supported API versions, the required products, as well as some sample code. Right. So for example, I click on the sample Python code, it would take us to our GitHub repository for some sample code for this particular cookbook. All right, I think I'll go over one more of these um, example cookbooks for you here. We have one here that's a little more in depth and some more steps involved. Uh, we have one where we can take a response action on a highlighted object in a workbench. Say you found a certain workbench object um, and then you wanted to take a particular response action and sort of automate that process, right? So for example, here going through the workflow, we could retrieve some new workbench alerts from vision one. We'd look to see our new workbenches available. If there are, we update the alert status then we take a look at the impact scope, right? Uh, let's say this one is an email, right? If it's an email, we can search those email messages for details and then quarantine the email message as a response action. Lastly, we can add some alert notes and that would be the end of the workflow. You can see this one is a little more in depth, requires some more APIs, right? So we provide all of the APIs needed for this workflow. And again, the sample code as well.